really warm in here. It is very it? warm. I'm going to turn the air on. Hope that doesn't ruin the audio. Is it still recording it's us? Still recording. We are experiencing <laughs> technical difficulties, a.k.a. his air conditioned unit went out. I just turned it off so we could record. That's why I'm sweating. Now like, we're dying. My armpits are crying stinky tears, okay? This is an awful time. I can confirm that. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the Driving Me Crazy podcast. I am Avery Jones. And I'm Chase Golden. And this is episode number five. We are living in the past yes. for this episode. Yep. What you got? Me and you obviously have been on stages, like, for different stages, different shows, yes. different things. Is there, like, your top three shows that you've ever put on? Top three shows yeah. ever. Because you've been on stage more than I have. Yeah, but You're probably ahead of me, actually. If we're talking yeah. about stage show, like, musical mm -hmm. things. My absolute favorite show I ever did was Susicle, when I played the, the cat, cat in the hat. hat. And um, Alice in Wonderland. You played Alice. I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was Alice, and, <laughs> yes. uh, also Wonderland. Ah, oh. <laughs> um, one woman show that I put on. I was the White Rabbit, and I was the White Knight. <laughs> Because you're the whitest guy much I know. Wider than Avery. <laughs> um, the time that we got to do Grease together mm -hmm. is another one of those yes. times. That was a very happy time in my life, so the show itself was very good. So you're right. Not the when we met Grease, the yeah, other one. Yeah, I played Duty the first time we met, and then you played Duty when was, we actually were in the show together. I was Duty number two. Yeah, so you were Duty number two, and I was the teen angel. The rose out of the floor. The trial and error to costumes that they put on me. They put oh. on Oh, uh, yeah. I wore a yeah, yeah, yeah. leotard at one of them, and, and I came up out of the floor wearing a leotard, and they said, oh. After the show. The only cool thing was that there was dry ice around me, so I looked like <laughs> an iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was really it. <laughs> Okay, well, tell me your top three favorite <laughs> shows then, because... Um, no, actually, my top three, Adam's Family playing Gomez. When I stepped down on stage, I just felt powerful. The minute you they walked down that you stage... They gave you a sword! Um, then I played Rick Steadman in a show called The Nerd. Rick Steadman was not Rick Steadman. He was the idea of Rick Steadman. It was very in-depth. I enjoyed that one, and probably, if I had to say my third favorite... The third one's the one I had the uh, hardest time with. Yeah, the, the third one is weird. Like, you have those two. Um, It's funny because it's one of my top three, but at the same time, it's one of my least favorites. Charlie Brown. And it brought out a lot of, like, old feelings. And because Charlie Brown is picked on a lot. That's, Sometimes it can get really scary. That's one of those shows that I've always wanted to do, too. So I was so that you're good close, man, Charlie Brown? I was this close to doing it. I you wish did. you would have, for real. Oh. I think, you know who I think you would have played? Oh, please Linus. Don't. I can hear you scratching yourself on the microphone. Oh, you can? <laughs> I'm not scratching myself on the mic. Like, not like a bear. <laughs> yeah, like, like, little do you hear, it's just... I am literally. What's that called? ASMR. We would have a lot more listeners if you said oh, ASMR track. So we're just gonna be <laughs> ASMR today. Splash! I can't make a splash noise. <laughs> Ten million views. Right Ten there. million views right there. But yeah, so theater has always been a big New thing. New Horizon Community Theater has done so much for us. I met you mm -hmm. 15 years later, still here. Uh, you introduced me to Audrey there. Technically, it was there and Waffle House. No good love story starts with I saw her across a crowded Waffle House. She had all her teepees. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. We'll be back with some more goofing around, I'm sure, after this word from our sponsor. Hello, I'm celebrity host Bob McKenzie. I'm here today to talk to you about something very important. Your energy levels. Your energy levels. Your energy levels. You know, you get through the day and you get worn out. Well, that's one I, Bob McKenzie, reach for Swill. The newest energy drink from Plinko. Drink me, baby. It's delicious! Swill from Blinko! Woo! Woo! From Blinko! I wanted to talk about movies that we watched in our childhood because mm -hmm. I am recently learning of all these movies I never saw mm -hmm. and people are shocked that I've never seen them. I've never seen American Tales. I loved American Tale. Five Will Goes West. But what's your quintessential childhood Ooh, movie? I really like Peach Dragon, the original. Not this remake. Sometimes Disney misses. And, and I'm, also I'm okay with Space it. Jam. Space Jam. Yeah, of all things, they're making a sequel to it. Oh, yeah. Because we I'm, have a sequel for everything. I am pumped for Space Jam. I'm waiting for Old Yeller 2, the walking dog. <laughs> that is 
terrible. And it's then, like, <laughs> Old Yeller was my dog. I have to go take out that zombie. Wouldn't it be great to just find out that that whole Walking Dead series, is it all started with, <laughs> with Old with Yeller? Old. You did this! <laughs> Perfect. Disney's for sure going to call us after this. The one that I loved, and I did not realize I had such a fondness for it mm-hmm. until we watched it again recently, mm-hmm. the Aristocats. Oh, yeah. I will get so excited <laughs> over Aristocats. Is this still on Disney Plus? Oh, I'm sure it's on Disney Plus. Okay, it's, I haven't even looked on there. It's I need to. wonderful. <laughs> it is. Even it, more so than 101 Dalmatians, which I also love. Those were my two kid movies. What about I Oliver and Company? No. Why? I see it like once or twice. Okay. But it started too sad, and I think okay. I lost interest. I had a stuffed Oliver toy that I played with a lot. That but, sends me the thought of a stuffed Oliver. N- not taxidermied Oliver. A beanie baby Oliver. I wanted Figaro, the cat from Pinocchio, but they mm-hmm. didn't make it and they didn't sell it. So I was stuck with Stupid Oliver. It's on Disney Plus. I'm, st- I'm going to add it to my stuff tonight. Oh, Yeller? <laughs> no. <laughs> didn't Cheech Marin play the voice of one of the dogs in that movie? He was Tito, yeah. Yeah, it, you know, like, of course it was the stereotype dog. Oh, right. But 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 who sang the songs? Who was the Artful Dodger? Was that Billy Joel? It was Billy Joel. Oh, okay. Billy Joel. He did that. Why should, Why should I, I worry? worry? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, I love that song. The sing-along episode of the Driving Me Crazy podcast will be coming your way <laughs> two weeks from never. Uh, two weeks. But but uh, that was a little little sample of why. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I didn't even do Muppet movies a lot when I was a kid. The That's more I'm thinking surprising. about it, I like Goofy Movie. I, every time I think Goofy Movie, I think of floating down the river on the top of the car, yeah. and I think of the Bigfoot doing the Saturday Night Bear when he realizes what <laughs> staying alive is. <laughs> like he's in the background, and does this. that entire soundtrack? Like it's great, freaking rock. And great. I don't, I don't think it got enough appreciation at the time. I'm glad to see now that Eye to Eye is out there in the world. Well, they don't make soundtracks like they used to, which that's sure. a whole other thing in itself as well. You know song. what movie has a kicking soundtrack? What's that? It's the Lindsay Lohan Herbie movie. Really? Yeah, like we're talking Beach Boys. Get your oh, uh, walking on sunshine. That's not bad. Fun, fun, fun. That's a good... Magic. I, I got derailed on the Lindsay Lohan movie. I'm sorry. Is there a movie that you watched as a child that no one else would know about? The Big like, Green. That it, one is on Disney Plus. I, know. I get that one suggested all the time. It is at that time of Sandlot type deal where everybody was like, okay, it's like the best sports movie you'll ever watch. And then you have Big Green it has Steve Gutenberg in it, and he's coaching like this nobody team. It's really, really good. Mine is maybe not that obscure it was Angels in the Outfield with, with Christopher, Christopher Lloyd, Lloyd. yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. was all about that movie so I, that was one of the ones we had like duped and so I would watch it but it was like crappy <laughs> did you ever get any VHS tapes from the library and like try to record them uh, oh yeah 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 <laughs> my, my aunt would like copy them over for us we can't use this it's and illegal. there's <laughs> Don't tell anyone. There's only 40 people out there. It's fine. There was this song that was at the beginning of the Goofy movie. Something. uh, Somebody's Magical Express or... Yes. And that was a Goofy uh, movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember what it was called. Dr. Looney's Remedy. It's Dr. Looney's Remedy. Okay. Kick up your knees. Hi, yeah. And you know what was weird? I haven't heard that song in a long time. So this was on my... Uh, so this was on my VHS copy, and it was even crappier than it is in this capture we're watching on YouTube right now. So the audio would go... <laughs> so I thought that was part of the song. No. It's a catchy song, but if you listen to it, it really it's, is like... It's really bizarre. The other thing I had was the Disney sing-along tapes with the Professor Owl at the beginning of them. I had one, but I never watched it. Oh! Oh, no, I take that back. Yes, I did. The the theme song is the thing that 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 reminds me of my childhood. This blue owl that talks like Mr. Smee <laughs> is the is the mascot of my Disney loving childhood. Anyway, we're gonna wrap up. I have been Avery Jones and I'm Chase Golden. Tune in to our next show and maybe you'll hear Chase say. And that's why I'm not allowed back on. It's a small world. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Just ruined my entire Disney. It's not my fault. He was not picking a fight with you. It's a doll. He looked at me first. (laughs)